welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan. And on my channel, you're gonna find everything having to do with homeschooling and homemaking and anything to do with our life as a large family. Now, today's video I am really excited about because I love fall. I love the changing of seasons into this beautiful time of year. I live in East Tennessee, so it's extra beautiful with all the changing leaves and so many beautiful things to do as a family. And of course, my favorite part, which is to cozy up with a delicious bowl of soup or a nice cup of coffee and read. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing some of my favorite fall books along with some additional fall selections that either have been in our morning basket in the past for fall or are going to be this year. Now, this video is also in collaboration with my friend Katie over at Life in the Mundane. She is an excellent resource for homeschooling as well. So if you are not following her, make sure that you head over to her channel. Of course, watch her video, but also make sure to subscribe to her as well as any of the other ladies that are in the playlist linked down below as well so that you can see what some of their fall favorites are. Now, not everyone is sharing books. They might be sharing meals or decorating or whatever having to do with fall. So make sure that you check out that playlist so you can get all the fall feels. Okay, when we talk about fall favorites, I actually have a lot of favorite books. I've shared quite a bit before. I will link a video down below of some selections that I chose for last year as well. And I will also link a really fun video that I did of some fun fall activities that we did using a lot of different picture books, some of which I'm gonna be sharing today. Now, this of course is not representative of all of the fall books out there, um, but I am gonna go over a few favorites with you guys today that I haven't shared before. And then I'm gonna share some other just great selections for fall as well at the end of the video. So make sure that you hang on for the whole thing if you are interested in some ideas for fall books. As far as books for Thanksgiving, I will be doing a video soon about fall Thanksgiving books, like fall books for Thanksgiving, um, with more of a Thanksgiving focus. So make sure if you're not subscribed to subscribe so that you don't miss that one that will be coming soon. So let's get started with some of my favorite selections. I love this book. Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. There's actually a few different books in the little Fletcher series that have to do with seasonal focus. But this one, of course, is Fall and Fletcher is a little fox and he's so sweet and cute. And he is really sad because the leaves are falling off the trees and he feels sorry for the leaves and he's trying to keep them on. And so you'll have to get this sweet little book and follow along with Fletcher. I'm sure your children will love and adore it. So make sure to check out Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. Now, some of my children are a bit older, but we love picture books. Picture books are not just for young children. So make sure you incorporate some picture books in your morning basket. It really is a lot of fun, even with kids who are a little bit older. The next book that I wanted to share is called Hawking Day. And if you are familiar with our family on here, you know that we love the outdoors. And that is one of the reasons why I love this book. It also has some pretty scenery. It talks about all the things she observes on the hike with her family. And so it taps into those observational skills. And it's just a really sweet book about going on her first hike in the fall with her family. So make sure that you check this one out as well. I love this book. First of all, the pictures in the book, The Scarecrow, are beautiful. But also the story itself is really beautiful about a scarecrow and his sole purpose is of course to scare crows. However, he saves a little crow that falls from its nest and he cuddles it and holds it and helps nurture it um, as it grows. And I'm not gonna give the rest of the story if you've never read it, but it really is a beautiful story and pictures in this book. And I'm sure that your family will love it. 
The next book is another one that I adore, The Oxcart Man. We, I shared this one last year actually as well, but we had so much fun with this book. So it's a great way to see insight into how a family would work year round to make things in order to sell them so that their family could survive. Um, and so we did some really cool activities with this last year. Like I said, I will link that video down below. I already referenced it before. If you want to see how we did some different activities with this book as well as others. The next one, I sense a theme. It's another book about a fox. So this is a chapter book. And if you have not read Pax, um, it's a wonderful story. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, it's about a boy named Peter, and I'll try not to give too much about it, but it's about a boy named Peter who befriends a fox, and the fox has become pretty much like a pet to him. Well, his father's in the military, and he has to go away, and so his father has him return the fox to the wild, and I'm not going to give much more than that, but it is a wonderful story, and honestly, like in the first chapter, it was a little emotional in the first chapter. So if you have really tender kids, you, you, I don't know, you could read it and then see if you, what you think, but it's, it's a beautiful story. She is a wonderful author. Um, so if you're looking for a good chapter book that has more of a, more of a fall fill, this might be a really good one. Okay, and then my last favorite I'm gonna share, but remember to hang on to the end of the video because I'm gonna share a lot of other ideas for fall selections as well. But my other favorite is I love the Brambley Hedge, okay? If you do not have the Brambley Hedge or if you're not familiar with it, check it out. It reminds me so much of Beatrix Potter and um, of course, Peter Rabbit series. However, it is a little more recent, like it's more modern. And so the my kids hang on to it a little bit better when I have read these stories. And what's really cool, so this is the complete collection of the Brambley Hedge. And so what's really cool is they do have seasonal stories in here. And so there is one about autumn in the Brambley Hedge and it's just, I don't know, it's just whimsical. I love things with animals, especially this time of year in the fall and my kids do too. And so it has some amazing illustrations as well. Um, so make sure that you check out the Brambley Hedge. So now that I shared some of my favorites, I'm going to share a few more fun reads for fall. This one is super cute. It's called Leaf in the Fall, and it's about a little leaf named Leaf. And it is his very first autumn season, and he is not quite ready to fall off this tree. He's afraid to fall, and so he has a friend who comes and helps him try out different ideas so that he won't fall and hurt himself. And you'll just have to read and see what happens but it's a super cute book. So this is a book I had never seen before and I saw it at our library and decided to pick it up. Typically when we think of fall we always read about apples and pumpkins but it's actually also cranberry season and so I just thought this would be a really great read and a great way to see just what it takes to harvest cranberries and to realize that this is something else that happens in the fall. So I grabbed this book. I'm excited about adding it to our morning basket for the month of October. Now, if you have been around my channel for any length of time, you know that I was previously a music educator and I am very passionate about the importance of music in our homeschools as well. So this book is about Vivaldi and um, specifically about his work called The Four Seasons. It's exactly as it says, there are four movements in this piece and one of them is Autumn. And so this is a great book and it comes with a CD that just tells the story of writing The Four Seasons and a little more about Vivaldi and it's a great way to introduce your kids to some really good quality classical music. 
Now this is a book that we read with my oldest son when he was in kindergarten. It is a really fun book. They show around the world and it was really fun um, with my son when he was in kindergarten and we read this because at the end we made an apple pie as a special way to celebrate finishing the book and just a fun thing to incorporate a project to do that goes along with it. So this is a really cool one just because like I said it shows like, pictures from around the world and it's just really fun. Now this is a great little book, especially for your younger kiddos. Preschool, kindergarten, around that age, and even younger, this is a great one. It of course is about a little squirrel who is starting to get ready for the winter. And it shows him going through different scenes, talking to different little animals, and it can be a fun interactive book as well because you can have them help make the sounds and things like that. So it's just a sweet little book and and all of my kids have enjoyed reading this one around this time of year. Now, if you're also looking to incorporate some early readers, this is a good one as well. And one of my sons actually really, really enjoyed this little book. It made him feel so accomplished and he loved the story. So this is a great one if you're looking for a fall themed fun little book that is great for those early readers to practice with. This is another good, simple read. I like to use this with my younger kids, like preschool and younger um, kindergarten as well. It's a great one to talk about colors and it has very simple but pretty vibrant pictures. It's also a great one to do as an early reader as well. I have used it as that way. I have used it in that way as well. I do want to let you know though if it bothers you to have images that depict Halloween it does include that towards the end of the book so if that's important for you to avoid I do want to let you know that it is in there. Now this Buttercup Grove series is precious. If you've never read it, I highly recommend it as an addition to your homeschool. It is a Christian book series and it's great for early readers as well. But this particular story takes place in autumn. Autumn is for apple pie and it's about some friends who are excited about finally harvesting and making an apple pie together, but they're in a very bad mood. So you'll have to read the story to find out what ends up happening, but it's a super sweet story. So make sure to check out the Buttercup Grove series. Ah, uh, so this next one, Sweep, has an excellent theme you can talk about and focus on such a good lesson from this book. So this is Ed and Ed is in a very bad mood. And so he is sweeping and sweeping and sweeping with all his might. He doesn't want to get rid of that bad mood. And as you can see, it is affecting everyone and everything around him. It discusses how he misses out on seeing all the beautiful things around him because he's so focused on his mood and how he's feeling and focusing in on that rather than how he is affecting others. So there's a great lesson to be learned from this book. I chose it to talk about because it is taking place around the fall time of year. Now, if you're looking for a great science pull-in, A Log's Life might be a good addition for you. I actually found this on um, bookoutlet.com. I've talked about it a lot on my channel, but I just thought this book was so cool. The pictures are really amazing in it as well. Sorry, this is some really up-close shots, but the pictures are really, really amazing. But basically, it's just talking about the life cycle that trees go through and the whole... Um, cycle of decomposition and how that works and things like that. So this is a really good one to pull in, especially for a science focus and just to start digging a little deeper into that. 
So this next one, I am actually new to this book and it is called Yellow Tom. And I just thought that it looked really interesting. And the pictures, once again, are very vibrant. Can you tell I'm attracted to that kind of thing in picture books? But they're very vibrant and colorful. And I just thought that this would be a great one to pull in for the fall season, just about the changing of leaves and how beautiful it is. And so I'm excited to dig into this one. This book, I had my youngest kids in mind. Who doesn't love David Ezra Stein? I love the illustrations and just the simplicity of the books. My youngest little boy loves the bear. And so I grabbed this board book off of Book Outlet the last time I put in an order. And this is going in our morning basket this month as well. So this is a classic, Pumpkin Soup. This is a story about some animal friends who get together and decide to make some yummy pumpkin soup together. Although it ends up in a disagreement and they lose one of their friends. They later are reunited and they apologize and learn just to give and take and get along and they make yummy pumpkin soup together again in the end. Oops, I kind of gave a spoiler, but this is just one of those classics and it's really cute. Now this last one is yet again another book outlet find. It is called Oak Leaf and it is literally just sharing the journey that an oak leaf takes as it is falling during the fall. It takes them through all of these different beautiful scenes in autumn, the beautiful changing leaves and the different animals down below. Look, another fox. I told you we have a theme here with the foxes. But it's just a really pretty book and it's a simple, quick read, but there's a lot to look at in these pictures, a lot to talk about that's going on in these pictures. And so I, I'm excited to add this one to our morning basket. As I stated before, this is not a representation even of all the fall selections that you can find out there. I didn't even share all of my favorites in this video because I know I've shared them in the past. So go out there and explore the library and some different selections that others may have in this playlist if they are sharing about their favorite fall books. There is just an exhaustive list of beautiful fall children's books. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the playlist so you can see other people's fall favorites and check out Katie's channel as well. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you found this video helpful in your endeavor to find great children's literature for your homeschool. Thank you so much guys and have a blessed day.